Hello everyone! So this is our lesson for today about conversion of fraction, decimal, and percent. Okay, and our objective is to convert fraction to decimal, convert fraction to percent, convert decimal to fraction, convert decimal to percent, and percent to fraction, and convert percent to decimal, and vice versa. Okay, so let's start with on how to convert fraction to decimal. We have an example number one. We have one half or one over two. One half is fraction. Okay, the first step is to divide one divided by two. So one divided by two using the calculator, it is equal to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 now is what we call the decimal. And now we're going to convert fraction to decimal uh, without calculator. Okay, so this is the step. One half, then it is equal to, or we're going to divide one divided by two. Okay, since hindi natin siya pwedeng i-divide kasi mas madaas ang divisor kaysa sa dividend, so let's have zero. One divided by two is zero. Okay, then uh, maglalagay tayo ng point after 1, and then doon din sa taas, dapat nakatapat yung point sa my dividend at saka sa quotient. And then, we add 0 sa dividend and 10 divided by 2 equals 5. And then, 5 times 2, it is equal to 10. Okay? Then, 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. Then, now, our quotient is 0 0.5, which is, that is what we call the decimal. Okay, again, one half is equivalent to 0 0.5 in decimal. Okay. okay, let's have another example on how to convert fraction to decimal. We have number one, one fourth. Okay, so one fourth convert to decimal. We're going to divide one divided by four and it is equal to 0 0.25. So, 1 fourth is equal to 0 0.25. Next, number 2, 3 over 4. Divide 3 divided by 4 and the answer is 0 0.75. Number 3, 1 over 5 and then 1 divided by 5 equals 0 0.2. Okay, so that is how to convert fraction to decimal. Okay. Okay, next, this is how to convert fraction to percent. Okay, so we have one half. One half is a fraction. To convert to percent, we're going to multiply it by 100. Okay, so the denominator of 100 is 1. Then, we multiply the numerator. 1 times 100 is 100. And denominator, 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, 100 divided by Two, the answer is 50. And then we're going to add percent sign. So now we have 50%. Okay, one half is equivalent to 50%. Okay, now we have another example on how to convert fraction to percent. We have number one, one fourth, then multiply by 100. So the denominator of 100 is one. And then it is equal to one times 100 is 100. Four times one is Four. And then 100 divided by 4, the answer is 25. And then add percent sign. So we have 1 fourth is equivalent to 25%. Next, number 2, 3 fourth times 100 over 1. So 3 times 100 is 300. 4 times 1 is 4. And then 300 divided by 4, the answer is 75%. Next, number 3, 1 fifth times 100 over 1 then it is equal to 1 times 100 is 100 5 times 1 is 5 then 100 divided by 5 the answer is 20 percent okay so that is how to convert fraction to percent okay this time we're going to discuss on how to convert decimal to fraction now we have 0 0.5 0 0.5 is decimal and then the next one is to count decimal places from the point going to the right okay okay we're going to count the decimal places if one we divide by ten 2 divided by 100, if 3 divided by 1000, if 4 divided by 
10,000 and so on. Okay, so we're going to count the decimal places from the point going to the right direction. Okay, since our given is 0 0.5, okay, if we're going to count from the point, um, our decimal place is only 1, which is 5. Okay, so since um, it is only 1, we divide by 10. Okay, and then the next step, we have 0 0.5. We divide it by 10, then we're going to disregard the point, then we're going to write 5 over 10. Okay, we eliminate the point. And then now we have 5 over 10. The next step is to simplify or reduce to lowest term by dividing uh, both numerator and denominator by their greatest common factor, which is 5. So now 5 divided by 5, we have 1. And then 10 divided by 5, the answer is 2. Okay, therefore, 0 0.5 is equivalent to 1 half in fraction. 0 0.5 is decimal, 1 half is a fraction. Okay, so that is how to convert decimal to fraction. Okay, now let's have another example on how to convert decimal to fraction. Number 1, 0 0.25. And then we divide it by 100. Then now we have 25 over 100. Simplify. The greatest common factor is 25. So we divide it by 25 both numerator and denominator. So 25 divided by 25. The answer is 1. And 100 divided by 25. The answer is 4. Okay, number 2 is 0 0.75. To convert to fraction, we're going to divide by 100 since uh, 0 0.75 has two decimal places. Okay, then now we have 75 over 100. Okay, the next step is to simplify by dividing both numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor of 75 and 100, which is 25. So, 75 divided by 25 is 3, 100 divided by 25 is 4. So, therefore, 0 0.75 is equivalent to 3 fourth. Next, number 3, 0 0.2. Then, it is equal to 0 0.2 over... 10. We divide by 10 since um, 0.2 or 0 0.2 has only one decimal place. Okay, so um, if you're going to compare, 0 0.75 has two decimal places, 0 0.25 has two decimal places. Therefore, uh, 0 0.25 divided by 100 and 0 0.75 divided by 100 while 0 0.2 divided by 10 because it has only one decimal place okay now we have 2 over 10 then simplified by the greatest common factor which is 2 okay then dividing both numerator and denominator by 2 so 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 and 10 divided by 2 is 5 therefore we have uh, 0 0.2 is equivalent to 1 fifth okay so that is how to convert from decimal to fraction okay so this time we're going to convert decimal to percent okay so the first one is 0 0.5 which is the decimal the first step is to move the decimal point two places going to the right now 0 0.5 we move the point going to the right one and two okay and then add zero Okay, and then uh, we eliminate the point. Then now we have 50. Then the next step is to add the percent sign. Therefore, 0 0.5 is equivalent to 50%. Next, we have another example. 0 0.25. Then we have 0 0.2. Okay, move two places going to the right. Then we have 25%. Number 2. 0 0.75 convert to percent we have 0 0.75 from the point okay move two places going to the right then one and two so we have 
75 and add percent sign. So, 0.75 is equivalent to 75%. Next number 3, 0 0.20. Then now we have 0. Point, okay, move the decimal point going to the right direction. So, we have 1, 2, 2 decimal place. Then now we have 20. And add percent, we have 20%. So, that is how to convert decimal to percent. Okay, next, let's convert percent to decimal. Okay, so the first example is 50%. So the first step is to remove the percent sign. And then move the decimal point to places going to the left direction. Okay, next, we have 50. We convert to decimal. Next, um, we're going to move the point two places going to the left direction so we have one and two then now we have point 50 the next is we add zero then copy 50 so we have zero point 50 is the decimal of 50 percent so that is how to convert percent to decimal okay so let's have another example Number 1, 25%. Then now, eliminate the percent sign. Then from the point, count two, two places going to the right. 1 and 2. So add point to the left side and then add 0. Then now we have 0 0.25. So 25% is equivalent to 0 0.25. Next, number 2. 75% and then eliminate the percent sign and then from the point count two places going to the left we have one and two so add point and then next is add zero then now we have 0 0.75 next number three we have 20 percent and then eliminate the percent sign then we are from the point count one and two so add point and then we're going to add zero then now we have 0 0.20 okay so that is how to convert percent to decimal so the next okay now let's have the next one we're going to convert percent to fraction the first example is 50 percent the first step is remove the percent sign and then we're going to divide by 100 so now we have 50 over 100 and then reduce to its lowest term. Okay, so in this example, we can cancel 0. Then now we have 5 over 10. And then divide by the greatest common factor of 5 and 10, which is 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So now we have one half and that is a fraction so 50 percent is equivalent to one half in fraction okay that is how to convert percent to fraction and then now let's have another example on how to convert percent to fraction we have number one we have 25 percent to convert it into fraction we divide it by 100 so we have 25 divided by 100 okay and the next is to simplify or find its lowest term by dividing both numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor which is 25 25 divided by 25 is 1 100 divided by 25 is 4 next number 2 we have 75 percent then now we have 75 divided by 100 and divide by the greatest common factor of 75 and 100 then 75 divided by 25 is 3, 100 divided by 25 is 4. Next, number 3, we have 20%. Then now we have 20 over 100. Then uh, the greatest common factor of 20 and 100 is 20. So 20 divided by 20 is 1 and 100 divided by 20 is 5. So that is how to convert percent to fraction. Okay, now we have some example. We have 125%. Okay, 125% convert to decimal. So, we're going to move 
to point from the right side going to the left side two places so we have 1.25 so 1.25 is the decimal of 125 percent and then to convert it to fraction we're going to divide by 100 okay because the decimal place of 1.25 or 0.25 has two okay so divided by 100 then lowest term by dividing both sides by 25, so 125 divided by 25 is 5, 100 divided by 25 is 4, so that is a fraction. Next, 2.50 is decimal. Let's convert into percent by uh, moving the point two places going to the right, so we have 250%. And then 250%... Um, Convert to fraction by dividing by 100. So, 250 divided by 100 or we're going to have um, the lowest term. Divide both numerator and denominator by 50. Therefore, 250 divided by 50 is 5. 100 divided by 50 is 2. So, we have 5 over 2 for the fraction. Mm -hmm.